In this tip of the day, let's take a look at utilizing the proper boundary when applying toolpath to rough out a 3D pocket. Now in this example, you can see we have a solid model and the pocket's defined by the blue geometry. Now, many times we're asked, what's the best type of boundary to create? Should we extract an edge? Should we extract surface edges? Or should we simply create geometry? The answer, hands down, is to always create geometry. For example, for this part, I would just simply sketch out a rectangle for the boundary. Let's head over here to the Command Manager. I'm going to select Line and then Rectangle. I'm going to tell one CNC to just grid point snap. I'm going to snap there and I'm just going to drag a rectangle just so that it's a little bit bigger than the pocket that I'd like to machine. That looks great. Now let's apply the toolpath. So back over to the Command Manager. Let's go into our Model Toolpaths and we'll select Z-Level Rough. I already have a tool selected. I'm using a 5 8 diameter bullnose end mill. My speeds and feeds look great, so we'll click Next. All this looks good. I'm going to use high speed close for this. And why don't we helical approach into the pocket? All this looks great, so let's click Next on that. My step over, depth of cut looks good. We'll click Next. All this looks great. And now for boundary type, I'm going to make sure that I have picks selected so I can select the geometry. We'll click Finish. We're going to left hand mouse click the geometry for our boundary right hand mouse click and let one CNC generate the toolpath. That looks great. Now let's simulate the toolpath. We'll head back over to the NC manager. I'm going to right hand mouse click on the toolpath group and let's go with simulate rest. We're going to be using a solid model that I previously created for the stock. We'll click OK and here we go. Now you can see that that rectangle is doing a great job of containing the toolpath to exactly where we want it. So in summary, whenever applying toolpath to a 3D pocket, it's always much better to create the geometry as opposed to extracting an edge. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.